Hey, hello, welcome to Mono Sound Lab. My name is Peter, and today I'm gonna show you how to integrate Nuendo Live in your Yamaha CL or QL setup. I have a setup right here with a QL5 mixing desk with a basic session in it, two input racks, and a computer, of course. On the computer, I'm running Dante Virtual Sound Cards, Nuendo Live, and I also have installed the Yamaha console extension. Let's have a look at the desk first. Going into setup, going into Dante setup, and as you can see, on the device mount tab, I have connected my two input racks and my computer. Now we can set up our Nuendo uh, recorder. Press recorder right here, go to the Nuendo Live tab, and we do the setup by pressing Nuendo Live Setup. Here we choose in the DVS tab, we choose the correct computer, which is in my case, my MacBook Pro. That's actually it. The next thing we need to do is to think about our input patch, because it's gonna be different during virtual sound check or during show. During the show, I want the inputs of my desk to be my input racks, the preamps of my input racks. But during virtual sound check, the inputs of my desk need to be, uh, need to come from my laptop that is running the multi-track recording from the previous day. How do I do that? I'm going into Dante input patch and I make two different patch libraries. I make a show patch library with Dante 1 until 32 patched to my two racks. And I make a sound check library Let's recall that to show you, with Dante uh, 1 until 32 patched to my computer. So that's it for the disk setup. Let's have a look uh, at, the uh, at the computer. As you can see, I am running Dante Virtual Sound Cards already here, and I need to patch the inputs to my new window to my multitrack. My transmitter for that are my input tracks because I'm one, I want to record uh, the preamps directly. So the first inputs are coming from my rear rack. So let's use a filter here. My receiver is my Mac. And I patch the first 16 inputs to the first 16 inputs uh, of my MacBook Pro. My second rack is a TO rack. So those 16 inputs I patch from 17 until 32 on my MacBook. So now the inputs are patched, I can have a look at new window. If you open up new window, this is the screen you get, and I always check the settings. Make sure your audio system driver is set to Dante Virtual Sound Card, and your output mode is set to multi-track. If we open up a new project right here now, he's gonna ask you where to save it, and he also automatically names all your tracks like you uh, put the track names in the desk and also your uh, channel colors, he will add to your channels in your new endo. Okay, now we're ready to start to show and to record. One small thing, or then the input patch is still set on virtual soundcheck mode. So the, the Dante inputs are my computer right now. That's not correct. I need to change it to show mode before we start the show. Okay. Now we're ready to record. I have a transport bot right over here where I can control my, uh, my Nuendo Live. And I have a very, very cool button here and that's called Easy Recording. What does the Easy Recording button do? It uh, record enables all tracks in your Nuendo Live. It starts recording on all tracks, but also it locks your transport bar right over here on the desk and it locks the transport bar uh, in your new Endo Live on your computer. So you can't stop the recording by accident. So let's press easy recording right here. The recording starts. And if we have a look uh, at my computer right here, you can see that the multitrack is starting. During recording or during the show, we can also add markers. Uh, we can do that from the desk. If you press the button right over here, add marker, it will add a marker right here and you can see it in the list on the desk. Or if you go to your computer and you press K on the keyboard, you can see the marker uh, track bar on top and you can see that there is a marker added here as well. We can also activate the recall link function. If you activate the recall link function, then the desk will add a marker in your new window and in the drop down list right here every time you change a scene. So if you press next, it will add a marker on that position. 
and it will also give the marker the name of the scene. This is a very neat feature because if you have programmed your desk and every song is a scene, for instance, then you can very clearly mark where every song was. And the next day during virtual sound check, you can very easily recheck that song again. So I have a couple of scenes programmed into the desk. So I press next to go into the next scene. It adds a marker that's called song two, the same as the scene. And if I do that again, it will do it a third time. And maybe you can remember if I want to stop the recording, I press the lock right here and I stop the recording. That's it for multi-track recording. Now let's have a look at multi-track playback and virtual sound check. Maybe you remember, but we need to change the Dante input patch again. So go to Dante input patch, select library and select the previously programmed sound check patch. In the meantime, I loaded a previously recorded multi-track into Nuendo Live. This multi-track has some markers in it. We have an intro marker, we have a main riff marker, and we have a guitar solo marker. Now, let's go back to the desk and see how we do a virtual sound check completely controlled from the desk. You can see in the list here, we have the same markers as we had in our new window, and I can completely control everything from here. So if I press play, the multi-track is gonna start playing. You can hear that, you can see that on the meters. If I press next, I'm going to the next marker. And now we can see all the tracks are playing. So I can adjust everything according to the new venue. I can go to the solo and I can stop the multi-track. That's how easy it is to virtual sound check on a Yamaha desk with a new, a new Endo Live setup. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.